Okay, so today we're going to look at one which is not well known in the hobby, but is actually quite common, and this is lymphocystis. Now, lymphocystis appears as small, waxy, white lumps on the fins of the fish. In severe case, it can occur on the body as well, but this is pretty rare. Basically, what happens is when you net a fish, the fins can be bent or damaged in the net. Now, most fish take netting pretty well, but very small fish are a little bit more vulnerable. Um, some fish are more vulnerable than others. Long-nosed butterflies, which have very long, very brittle fins, when you net them, almost every time will end up with lymphocystis as an end result. On things like cob band butterflies, it's 50-50. Other butterflies, maybe a quarter of them might end up with lymphocystis if they're fresh in from the wild and, and netted. But it's very rare to see it in any other fish. What basically happens is the rays of the fish break or crack as they get bent in the net. And the skin, the tissue of the fish, attempts to regrow back to its original shape. Now what should happen is it should regrow to the original shape and then the cells should stop dividing and the wound is then healed. But when the lymphocystis virus gets in there, what happens is it switches off the part of the cell that tells it to stop multiplying. So it reaches the shape it should be and then continues to grow in a similar kind of way to like a scab on a wound or a tumour or something like that. And it continues to grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Usually after a fish is netted, if it's got lymphocystis, the spots will take a few days to appear, maybe up to a week, and they'll take about a week or so to worsen as they get larger and larger. They'll look white and waxy, they'll generally only be on the fins of the fish, and when you look closely they'll only be on the rays of the fins, not on the gaps in between. This makes it much easier to identify compared to many other fish diseases. Now the good news is that after a week or so the fish's immune system works out something has gone wrong, and that attacks the virus and will do, or destroys the cells which are, it doesn't need. And over the next week or two, the spots will slowly get smaller and it will disappear of its own accord. There's no need to offer him any medication for lymphocystis at all, and there's no need to quarantine the fish for it either. Um, in fact, if you net the fish into quarantine, you're only going to like to bend more fins and make the situation worse. It will heal up on its own within a couple of weeks, and then it is good to go, and you no worries to, to your other fish. It's extremely rare for a fish to die of lymphocystis, and out of the many thousands of fish I handle a year, I've seen one or no casualties to lymphocystis in the space of a year. Make sure you check out our other videos on diagnosing fish diseases and quarantine.